Image Trace is a really fun feature of Adobe Illustrator. Let's open the image and experiment. First, we'll start a new file. Specifications will be 5 by 5 inches, RGB color, and let's say 150 pixels per inch. Go to the file dropdown and then place. Double click the image to load the cursor. If I click once, it places at its original size. I can scale this down by dragging in the handles. Holding down the shift key keeps the image in proportion. Find a framing that you like by referencing the artboard edges. Then we'll crop to fit the image to the artboard. I'll click on the crop image located in the control toolbar and then adjust the handles to fit the artboard. Now we're ready for image trace. With the image selected, click on the arrow next to image trace to see the options. Let's go with six colors. The next step is so important and so simple and so easy to forget. Click expand. Change over to the direct selection tool. Every individual shape is selected. I'd like to click outside of the artboard to deselect all and then click around a few shapes to see how they separated. You can double click on the color picker tool and select colors as you go or set up swatches. Let's set up a swatch palette inspired by the range of colors in the color wheel. If your swatches panel is not visible, go get it from the window dropdown. I like to delete the default swatches when I create my own. Note that you cannot delete the first two boxes. Now I'll open my color picker and select a bunch of colors from the vertical band of colors here. Think of this as though you snipped the color wheel at red and then stretched it out vertically. The big box to the left is where you can further adjust the color you desire. Once you have all of the swatches gathered, using the direct selection tool, change some of the colors. Whatever you have selected will change to the color swatch you clicked on. Let's make a shape adjustment. With the whole image selected, go to the Shape Builder tool. This fun tool combines shapes that you click and drag over. Keep in mind that it only works over selected shapes. Then I can go back to my direct selection tool and change the color of my new shape. Maybe I'll add a darker red swatch. This next tool is a super time saver. If you want to select all shapes of the same color without having to hold down the shift key and select one by one, you can go to the select drop down to same and then to fill color. You can always go back in and then change any of the shape colors you want to be different. There is also an eraser tool. You can use this to break up shapes. I don't want the hair to be attached to the background, so I will drag my eraser in between. Notice that the shapes are separate now. The artboard is showing through, which is why you see some white. I will combine the white part with an adjacent shape using the Shape Builder tool. Now I can go select that piece and change its color. Then I will change the hair section to be red. If you want to get in the weeds a bit, you can also select any of the anchor points and drag them around to modify the shapes. If you have all of the shape's anchor points selected, the whole shape will move like this. So be sure to click on individual anchor points first and then drag. When an anchor point has these handles, that means it's a curve and can be adjusted in this way. The image trace feature has converted this image into vector artwork, which is a cool way to cartoonify an image, as well as creating artwork that is now a high quality, scalable vector graphic. 